Cognitive dissonance. Y'all ever hear that phrase? It has something to do with the effects of, it's a term for the state of discomfort felt when two or more modes of thought contradict each other. The clashing cognitions may include ideas, beliefs, or knowledge that one has believed in a certain way. You know, and I wonder if there's a lot of that going on in your mind like there is in mine with everything that's going on in the world lately. And a lot of times it happens in my own mind where I have different modes of thought based on all the different information that's been presented to me over the years. And then there's that other phrase I've heard that this term is used, and that's when people are presented with the truth, they can't grasp it because they have been told the lies for so long that the truth just doesn't make sense to them. And it seems to me that's kind of where I find myself from my perspective these days in that in that field, in that camp. But I wanted to just share an experience I had with you guys today where I met and met with a friend. And although we both may have conservative, conservative individual ideals, we look at the world from a different lens. And he's a little bit more liberal-minded, open-minded. So we had a lot of things that we disagreed on during our conversations. And you know, we were talking about presidents, current and former by name and disagreeing with a lot of the things and had a lot of uh, conversations where we didn't see eye to eye. But one thing we didn't do is we didn't yell, we didn't get mad, we didn't cuss at each other. We had an uncomfortable conversation about things that we disagreed upon and uh, we continued to just conversate and realize that we can agree to disagree and we don't have to get mad and hate one another. Because bottom line is we both want peace for everybody. You know, then we started looking at the administrations and what they had accomplished versus the name of the person running it to try to see if we could come up with a different example of the fruit of their work. And although I had my perspective, he had his, and we still had a lot of areas we disagreed upon. And he still thought that things with this current administration were, I guess, in better position for the ability to move forward in the long term than I did. And again, we disagreed, but what we didn't do is we didn't argue, we didn't fight, we didn't yell, we didn't holler. We just had a good rational conversation, and I believe that that's missing in our society. I believe the people in power don't want us to be able to have rational conversations about tough issues, and even when we disagree, we can still be friends and love one another and respect one another and have that feeling for one another that we're all just trying to love God and his kids and use our God-given gifts to help promote peace, love, and compassion in different ways that we can do it. Now, I do it in my way because that's what God will put on my heart, but he does it in his way with the gifts that God has given him. And, and that's what God's encouraged me to do is just to reach out and remind everybody the importance of the, in this crazy world that we live in to take care of our mind, body, and spirit and to get grounded and get centered and see if we can not teach people better ways or different ways or new ways on how to love God, love themselves and love others. And then be able to share that love and that light with others. So guys, take some time today, get centered to get grounded. The world's crazy. We don't know what's up or down. We just know that everything's crazy. But when we can get back to source and get back to truth and God and the love and we put on our hearts and we can just try to share peace, love and compassion and love our brothers and sisters, love our neighbors, love our community, those things are, in my opinion, universal and they will outlast anything. You can never go wrong with love and kindness. So guys, try to love yourselves today. Try to love God today and try to love others today. And remember to take time to get centered and get grounded and get connected. God, do me a favor. Please, please fill me with peace, love, and compassion. Fill my family and friends with peace, love, and compassion. Fill all the earth and all humanity with peace, love, and compassion. And God, even where we disagree, just let our hearts come together and realize what we do have in common and how we are so much alike and how we're, the, we're just all God's kids and he's watching how we're playing in the playground and how we're playing with each other. So make sure you play nice, be kind. God, fill me with peace, love, and compassion. Fill my family and friends with peace, love, and compassion. Fill all the earth and all of humanity with peace, love, and compassion. God bless the world. God bless America. Peace officers, out.